I'm Megan. And I'm Reese. And we are your parade commentators this evening. Looks like we've got campus public safety leading the way for the color guard this evening. Be sure to wave at our wonderful campus public safety, keeping our campus safe. And now coming into the light is the color guard. Please give them a big round of applause. If you know a student at the Travel Development Center, be sure to give them a shout out. I know Oh, oh and I see Wolfie. Oh, dang. Wolfie sighting. Look at that fly new sweater. I think Wolfie got that at the Wolf store. I think so. It's pretty much the only place that Wolfie shops. Um, and Wolfie is leading the pack for the Research Institute Child Development Center, who's coming as Santa's little elf. If you know a student at the Child Development Center, be sure to give them a shout out. I know Opie and Wyatt. Hey. I can't see them because the crowd is so tall and they are so short. So somebody has to tell somebody put on Instagram how cute they are as a little elf. All right, looks like coming up next we've got the Resident Hall Association and the Des National Residence Hall Honorary. Hope your holidays and New Year are out of this world. tree lighting and wish you a happy holidays. Hi y'all! Alright, get your hands together for the Woo drum line. They're here to spread some holiday spirit to everyone. rugby team this evening is Rookies and Vets. Wish the happy holidays to everyone. I also, also T-Rex. The Christmas T-Rex is here. The Christmas T-Rex. Right behind them we have Alpha Chi Omega and they are dressed as tinsel, candy canes, and Christmas lights. The Alpha Chi Omega sorority wishes everyone happy holidays. Following that up is Omega Delta Phi. Their theme today is A Night Before Christmas. Since 1987, Omega Delta Phi is a multicultural service and social fraternity that aims at graduating its members while giving back to the community. A Night always loves to give back to the community, mainly the night before Christmas. Love the play on words, gentlemen. Love the play on words. Here are the ladies of Kappa Delta Chi. You'll never catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The sisters of Kappa Delta Chi sorority are chasing the gingerbread man. Run, run, fast as you can. You'll never catch me, he's the gingerbread man.
And following them up are the American Sign Language Club. Club Lou's ASL Club is passing out candy to all the good children. You better get that candy, then you know you're on the good list. And hey, from Multicultural Leadership Club, they wish everyone a happy holiday. Please do not the cars. Now coming up, we have PT Northwest, and their theme is Ugly Sweaters. <sighs> I love the lights to highlight your ugly sweaters. That is delightful. Oh, and then a right oh, whoa. They're two, popping up out of nowhere. Tiny ugly sweaters just popped out. They just popped out out of nowhere. <laughs> there is a bicycle. Bicycle Shop of Monmouth is here, and their company's 1985 Volvo wagon isn't missing out on the holiday magic with their bikes all lit up on the roof with care. All right, up next is the Office of State Representative Paul Evans. Give it up for your local representative. I see him right there in the brown jacket. Paul represents our district and uh, the state capitol, and he works tirelessly for all of us. And he is a former WU student and a former ASWOU president. So go uh, take a picture with him next year. He's very happy I brought that up. This is amazing. Myers Towing, proudly serving Monmouth and Independence, has brought us the most beautifully lit tow truck, complete with Christmas minion. This is amazing. I also what? love the dog. There's See, a dog. Dogs. There's a dog. There's a mini. There looks like a. Tr there looks like there's a truck on top of the truck, which there makes a, a lot of sense. There's a truck. Because it's a towing. <laughs> right. There's like a Christmas tow truck on the Christmas tow truck. This is meta. I am loving this. Central FFA comes to you from Central High School. Their float is on a 28-foot gooseneck trailer completed with sleigh, reindeer, Christmas tree, and lovely presents. This, this is, is amazing. Gorgeous. Excellent work, Central High School FFA. Yeah, give it up for them. That was a lot of work. Does it appear that they are throwing candy? Even more delightful. Is that a tree? They have a living tree and music? And they brought their own tunes. So appreciated. Sing with them, y'all. You know the words. When y'all come to Western after you graduate from Central, you should definitely join SAB to help put on the parade, because y'all took it up a notch. All right, coming up, it's Girl Scout Troop 10601. They want to wish you a happy holidays. Y'all are looking lovely this evening. Thank you for all that you do for the community, and mostly, the cookies. I hope you brought Santa some. Yeah, I bet Girl Scouts are always on the good list because they always have cookies. Right? 
Up next, we have Monmouth Public Works, and um, they're doing the Spirit of Christmas, and it's decorated with lights, and they are working in conjunction with the Girl Scouts, which is lovely. It's a beautiful truck, y'all. Give it up for the Woo Student Veterans of America chapter and their Toys for Tots program. Toys for Tots is a program run by the United States Marine Corps Reserve, which distributes toys to children during the holiday season. Please donate toys to the, this season for a family in need. Uh, the Western Student Veterans of America chapter wishes everyone a happy holidays. Thank you so much for your service. the Wu Royalty Court, and we crown two seniors who we find that impals the values of Western Oregon University and that really represent their peers. It is a mixed selection of both voting and an interview with faculty and staff based on our core values, and this year's Wu Royal Wolf Royalty are Ephra and Polka, so give it up for your Wu Wolf Royalty. Hi Ephra, hi Polka. <laughs> And that yeah. next one's real loud. No, I thought that was it. I thought I thought Ephraim Polka. I mean, that's like, like. Can you top it? That's normally that's normally how I end any party. Right, oh, right Polka? Right. Like, Don't you normally? It. Like Wolfie was here. Wolf Royalty was here. There was, there, we're was, good. there was the tractor that we were both really obsessed with. It's wonderful. It's really delightful. I wonder what. Wait. But someone has decked out this fire truck. I wonder. Do you think it could be? I don't. He's real booked this time of year. I know. He's normally really busy. I. And Monmouth isn't a very good town, but... I mean, yeah. He's got a list to check. I mean, he may be checking in on everybody. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm getting news. It's true. Y'all, Santa is here. Huge thanks to Central Fire for providing Santa's ride this evening. Good evening and welcome to the 50th anniversary holiday tree lighting at Western Oregon University. We want to thank you, our community, members, students, faculty, and staff for joining us this evening. I'd also like to welcome Gaina Meyer Mills, an Oregon College of Education alumna who was a sophomore when the first holiday tree lighting was celebrated in 1967. Yes, give it up for her. She was a resident of Todd Hall when it was a woman's dormitory and recalls that she wanted to decorate the giant sequoia in front of the building and she reached out to the Monmouth Fire Department Chief Don Milligan for assistance with the project. After helping raise money for more than a thousand lights, Ms. Miles recalls asking Chief Milligan to have the fire department string them on the tree. Ms. Miles has attended several tree lighting celebrations during the past, past 50 years and we are thrilled to have her with us today. Again, let's give it up for her and her great idea. Tonight is an opportunity to celebrate the season and to give thanks for family, friends, and our supportive community. This is also the season of giving. I encourage you to remember those less fortunate than ourselves with care and compassion and to give them any time and energy that you may have to help those around you have a happy holiday season. Tonight, we are honored to have Mayor Steve Milligan from the City of Monmouth and Mayor John McArdle from the City of Independence joining us for tonight's festivities. I'm pleased to introduce Mayor Milligan. Good evening, welcome to Monmouth. It was in 1998 that I made it to my first tree lighting. And when I got to Monmouth, they told me there were two events that I needed to make sure that I got to because they were completely transitioned the city. And one was the 4th of July parade and the other was the tree lighting. And it's really exciting to see this many people out here tonight. What amazing weather we've got. I wish we could do this every year. But uh, anyway, um, 
Welcome to town, have a great evening, and have a happy holiday. And now Mayor John McArdle of Independence. You know, on this 50th anniversary, I want to share a couple of reflections about tree lighting. You know, many, many years ago, on a night just kind of like this, well, it might have been a little colder, a young man took a, a young lady out for a little walk. And under that giant tree, lit by the lights, the beautiful lights, he asked her if she'd want to spend the rest of her life with him. Well, she looked, she screamed, and then she said yes. 25 years later, we're still married, and I guess some might say that holiday miracles continue. <laughs> this tree also symbolizes home, home and friends. And a number of years ago, a very, very good friend of mine got off a plane in Portland. He hustled a ride to get to tree lighting, and he made it here just in time. And when the lights of the tree came on, we could see him standing, our neighbor, underneath the tree, in his desert camouflage uniform, with the racky dirt still on his boots, he was home, and we were happy for him. And this was home, and it was good. And that gentleman, who he knows who I'm talking about, is in the crowd tonight, and I'm so happy that he's here. And finally, I ask each of you during this holiday season to take a moment and hug that lovely person that you're with, that loved one, to offer the hand of friendship to someone that you don't know, because our communities are warm and welcoming for everybody from wherever they are. And isn't that part of what the lighted tree and the holiday season is all about warmth, welcoming, and mutual respect. With that, I offer you best wishes. I look to see you in our community and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Milligan and Mayor McArdle. You know, every year the Student Activities Board of Western Oregon University invites students from Ash Creek Elementary, Monmouth Elementary, and Independence Elementary to participate in a coloring and essay contest. We want to thank all of the students that participated this year, and at this time we'd like to recognize and congratulate the top contest winners from each grade. Beginning with our kindergarten winner, we have Bella Costiola. She is from Ash Creek Elementary. The top picture in the first grade belongs to Renee Ballesteros. Renee couldn't be here, so let's give it up for Renee. And she is from Independence Elementary School. And finally, the top picture for second grade, Daisy Hernandez from Monmouth Elementary. And here she comes. <laughs> A number of these beautiful pictures entered in the contest are on display in Warner University Center. So please stop by and view the wonderful work these students have created. We will now introduce the winners of the essay contest. This year, students were asked to describe what they think the world will be like in 50 years. The winners I'm about to announce were the top three overall amongst all the students from the third through the fifth grade. Again, as I announce your name, please come forward. We want to begin with third place, Aaron Hayes from Monmouth Elementary. A big round for applause for Aaron. In second place, we have Brenda Guian from Ash Creek Elementary School, and I believe she's going to read her essay. I think that in 50 years, the world will be 
will, the world will be beautiful. It will be warm and cold. It will be sun, sunny and the moon will be more sunny and the storm will not happen. People will have beautiful, a beautiful life. The tree lighting is so bright, I bet it will make you your heart shine like a star. We're all stars and and so in 50 years, everyone will have a roof and food. Help others if you want people. Help others if you want people to help you. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. And now I would like to introduce the winner of the essay contest. And she also will have the honor of reading her essay and the privilege of helping light the tree later. Kylia Medell from... Miss Curtis class in Monmouth Elementary School, please come forward. In 50 years, I hope our world is a better place. The reason I say that is because right now I see a lot of problems in the world. For example, crime, racism, homelessness, hunger, and war are major problems in the world. Unfortunately, I think that things are going to get worse before they get better. I know that to make things better, people are going to have to put away their differences and come together. Once they do, once, once they do I think the people will help take care of each other, which will help reduce the problems related to poverty that I listed earlier. If we do that, we will have happier, fuller lives where people live in peace. Beautiful. Thank you. So, Brendan and Kylia, thank you so much. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. If you received a candle this evening, please be sure to turn it on at this time. So, if you have a candle, please turn it on. And our two winners will help us in a moment. May I have the lights out, please? All right, so you have to help me with a countdown. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fifty years ago, I was a sophomore and lived in Todd Hall, and I was the fire marshal of the dorm, so I wanted to decorate something special, and uh, we weren't allowed to decorate the dorm, so I picked that large tree across the street and decided to buy some lights for it. I checked with the fire marshal first to see if the fireman would decorate the tree for me, because I wasn't able to, and, and they agreed to do so. But then I had to raise the money and buy the lights, and I, thanks to all the presidents of all the dorms here at Western Oregon, I was able to collect over $300, buy all the lights for the tree, placed them on the fire chief's desk. The Monmouth fire chief, Don Milligan, he agreed to decorate the tree, and that's when it all started. I was in the fire department at the time, and we were told by the chief to decorate the tree and I climbed the tree part way up uh, and because we had other people more brave than me. And then went to the top and uh, we strung some lights 50 years ago. 25 years ago, I actually built the star that's on there now and all the mechanical apparatus. I actually inspect it every year along with all the other mechanical features of it. It's never cracked, it's never failed, and it's gone through some heavy duty wind storms. So we're proud of it down at the physical plant. The lights are way better, but the memories are still the same. 50 years later, I can't believe that you're still doing this. Still is, brings as much joy to me now as it did that first night when we turned the lights on. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, the tree of 
Prosper.